Welcome to the 10pm show. So sorry for the uh, technical issue just now. And I'm your host, Uni, and I'm here with my co-host, Jonathan. So before we Hi start, again. So before we start our show, if you have any questions or anything to tell us, feel free to leave your comment below. And we will be replying to your comment and questions towards the end of the show. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy our show. So there was a bit cringy, right? You know, you have to do like announcement after like technical issues. And people will be like, Oi! I saw it twice, you know, I saw it twice. You did technical a bit, issue. A bit cringy, man. Oh, it's very cringy, right? Very cringy, very cringy. So, I mean, <laughs> before we start our show, please, if you have any comments and uh, questions, please feel free to uh, leave your comment in the comment section below. We will be replying to you at the end of the show. Okay, so, I mean, there's a reason why people like telling us, hey, why you have to start the like podcast and then you want to do it live, right? So, do, if, if you don't mind, like, can you please tell them, like, why do we doing this live? Why are we doing this live and what is the purpose of our podcast, if you don't mind? Basically, we're at home, nothing to do. This thing come out, lor. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like, we have been staying at home, like, for very long. You look at our hair, it's quite messed up and stuff. So, I believe, like, during this MCO, like, us, you, and me, like, and our friends... We kind of lose our a bit of a uh, human touch, so I'm here. I mean, we are here to reconnect that human touch again, right? So I want to get yeah, the doctor, yeah. doctor. Someone say something funny. <laughs> so um, I think uh, this is our first episode, and no one, no one actually know who are we. So why don't we actually like introduce ourselves? Okay. So my name is Uni, and I'm your host, and I. You want to do a cringy one, right? Like I like doing sports. And I like maintaining fitness and stuff. <laughs> no, like I'm actually 24 this year. I might look old because of the hair look and stuff. And how about you, Jonathan? You, if you look old, then I, I what? Already 50 years old, 60 years old. Retirement age, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm very youthful. Still, still sweet 16, you know. So before, like, a lot of people will be asking, eh? Hey, what is the purpose of our podcast today and what are we talking about today, right? So as in, you know, where the reason why we actually, both of us, communicate in English, there's a reason why. It's because, Jonathan, you yourself is a banana. Or should I call it banana? I cannot speak uh, fluent in other languages other than English. So what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> speak so, English, ah? So speak English. You know, you know they have a term for banana, right? Hey, you know, you know what's the term of banana means. Yeah lah. Be- basically, because uh, as a Chinese, I'm yellow skin ma. Sorry, uh, racist uh, But I'm also Chinese uh, so I know. But basically, Chinese yellow skin. Inside, speak English ma. So inside, white white color lah. So I I'm I'm actually white white person with yellow skin lah. That's why banana lah. So, um, you know, like if they call it like Chinese, it's like if you have yellow skin and you are w- inner, you have inner white, so you will be called banana. How about Indian? Indian Coco- is coconut. coconut. <laughs> Why? Uh, uh, because bra- it's like they are brown. Brown outside and then inside, inside, inside uh, white color, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no, no more joking around. No more joking around. We will be talking about our main topic here. So how hard is it to really? living... How hard is it to live in Malaysia, right? Having to deal with so many languages and you can actually speak, I believe, two. One is English and another one is Bahasa, right? So yeah, I, I can speak Bahasa. How hard is it to actually live in Malaysia with only speaking like Bahasa and English? Uh, it's not difficult per se, but I mean, you get judged, lah, basically, especially with your, by your own race. Lah. You get judged by uh, many people. It doesn't matter young or old. They have that that that, that uh, small judgmental uh, towards. Uh, well, basically, I'm speaking for myself, ma, So mm-hmm, I I yes. I got experienced this type of things before, la, So I I I've been judged before that I cannot speak Chinese. I mean, I can speak little bit, like Cukup, just enough to order chicken rice. That's all. Like Kai Fan, right? I mean, it's, it's uh, very simple uh, to say that word, but yeah. 
do you realize like in Malaysia, let's say you are like Chinese and you can't speak Mandarin, people will be like, what kind of Chinese are you? You're trying to be very atas, is it? You want to be better than us by speaking English or what? Or, or, or let's say you are a Malay. Uh, like let's say you are a Malay and you are not able to speak Mandarin and people just will not employ you. Or like even our Indian friends right here, they will be like, oh, Indian, ah, the one, ah, they can't speak Mandarin, their English is also a bit broken, something like that. This is not... The, I think one of the easiest thing you can see is that if you find the posters, uh, job posters, you see, Mandarin speakers uh, only, yeah, yeah, are... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, not only. They, they won't put only. Only only people, they bought them. Uh, preferably. Uh, they put uh, preferably Chinese speakers. Uh, those are the things. A lot, a lot of uh, posters are right, like that right now. Okay, you can see. So, do you think, do you find it hard, like, getting judged and you're not able to sometimes understand people? I mean, especially in Mandarin. Well, for me... For me, I actually can understand uh, Mandarin, but I just can't speak it. I I can, I can speak it lah. But I think you definitely laugh lah. The whole the whole stream would be laughing at me if I speak Mandarin right now lah. But and it basically, I can understand. Mm. But of course, uh, complicated ones. If they go technical, I I don't understand lah. But uh, to me, it's. Is is it, it does complicate matters sometimes, uh, when when we don't have a universal language to speak. Yeah. I believe I believe it's totally fine where you can't speak like one of the language. Like let's say, uh, I I can't speak English or I can't speak Mandarin. I I believe it's totally fine. But the problem here is people like to judge, especially in Malaysia, right? When you can't speak certain language, let's say, let's not talk about Chinese because I believe Chinese we are born judgmental. I myself is a Chinese, so I can say that we are born judgmental. When you see someone who can't speak Mandarin, because I myself is a, I can speak Mandarin quite well, quite fluently. And whenever I see some people, they they can't really like speak uh, Mandarin, I'll be like, "Hey, you are Chinese, you know." I myself also have that mentality sometimes. So, like, what do you think? Like, people judge you because you can't speak the language. It's it's. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, you proceed first. It's quite. I mean, it's quite sad, saddening because like in Malaysia we have like Malay, Indian, and Chinese like, but then we will never be staying in peace or living in peace in Malaysia because you can't speak one of the language and people will be like, oh today, oh there's a Malay coworker here. I don't like him. Then they will be cussing or talking about bad things about that guy behind him with other languages. So it's. I, I think I think that is normal lah. I mean, if you talk about someone ah, uh, you you go and insult someone in another language. I think that's fine, because maybe you dislike the person. I mean, normal lah. I mean, you like to talk bad about someone else, but sometimes that's the worst thing is that I feel this, is that you're in a group of friends, and then you have one group that speaks. Uh, uh this is based on my experience lah. So if anybody listening here, you 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 tekena, so sorry lah. But anyways, like that lah. Basically, you have a group of friends. Then uh, I I'm the only one who cannot speak Chinese. Then there's like five or six people start chatting chatting in Mandarin, and then I read, like, yeah yeah. I just I just laugh. Oh. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> so you have to pretend like to you have to pretend to understand, right? I mean, uh, I mean I do understand, but sometimes where they talk fast. It's hard for me to process. It takes me if I want to speak Chinese, if I want to listen to Chinese. It takes me a while for me to understand. It's like my brain, uh, uh, has a has a what is that? A very old processor. It takes a few minutes for it to. It's able to understand lah. At least. Pro- okay, so you oh, know. Hold on. Other than that, right? I mean, it's people will be judging you because you can't speak like the main, the three main languages, but. There's another part, another funny part in Malaysia. It's you won't if you can't speak that dialect like Cantonese, Hokkien, you get judged, even worse, compared to that, if you can't speak English or BM. It's even yeah, worse. Yeah, that's true. Like, that's true. Like me myself, I stay in Klang, and I'm a, actually a Teochew fella. I can't speak Teochew. I can't speak a word of Teochew. And then, 
I mean, I go like Klang is a very Hokkien town. So like when I go to Tapa or something, when I go and buy food, or when I talk to people, they will try. They will communicate with you in a uh, Hokkien because because it that's how it is. It's when you are in a Hokkien town, you will have to speak the language, right? Yeah. And people will be like, "Hey, young man, you cannot speak Hokkien, ah." Hami lang. They'll be like asking, "What are what are you?" You know, they get the guys like, "What are you? Who are you?" I mean, yeah, we are yeah. we are all human. We are all Malaysian. But getting judged like that, it is, it makes us don't feel very comfortable, right? But then, it's like the other, like the other part of me. Like when I work to when I because I work at Kota Damansara, and then Kota Damansara is more of a Cantonese town. People will be like, "Hey, you work at KL, you cannot speak Cantonese. What is wrong with you?" Then you you from you live you work in KL, you can't speak Cantonese. You stay in Klang, you can't speak Hokkien, and you're a Teochew, you can't speak all these languages. What is wrong with you? You know you're a Chinese or not. You get what I mean, right? Mm. It's quite saddening where people have this uh, mentality. I mean, it's not like we we, we, we we didn't try to learn, but sometimes it's not that easy for someone to actually pick up the language, right? Like especially yeah, the, you. Yeah, Spe- uh, actually for me, I mean, one of my experiences, uh, I mean, this is the most simple one uh, is that I I had that time I had a cough, uh, cough ah, not COVID ah. This was many years ago, way before COVID. So I went to the shop to go and buy, uh, cough medicine, uh, Chinese one ah, Chinese cough medicine. I feel it's effective. I use it though. So I go there. You know what I did ah? Right. So basically, I went there. Suddenly, I totally cannot speak Chinese. My brain blank. So you know what ah? I look at him ah. <laughs> I mean, then sawa. He he shout at me. Sawa. This is like uh, sawa means uh coffee cough, in uh. Hokkien. Yeah. So he said like this also cannot talk uh, huh? What kind what kind of people are you? Uh, he 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 told me like this in Hokkien lah. Uh. So I was like uh I just pay and and leave lah. But yeah, it, it was I mean to me it was a funny experience. Uh. I'm I'm used to it already. Mm-mm-mm. But yeah, we have these star uh, experiences uh, once in a while, lah. Mm. But then, like, okay, let's say let's not talk about dialects because, like, as Chinese, they believe you have to be in the roots. You have to speak your root language. You have to speak your mother tongue. But I mean, maybe some of our audiences here they don't really get it because maybe they are not Chinese, right? Let's get into something even deeper, right? Do you know that, like, sometimes when we Back then, when I when I can't speak like BM or English, when I try to speak BM, right? You know, like people say, "Hey, BM co standard cell, BM co jam, dari textbook." Because I don't use aku or kau, I use saya, awa. Mm. I mean, it's totally fine if you say, "Oh, your your yeah. BM is not up to par, or your BM is not that." Uh, how do I put this? Your BM is not that. Uh, not that uh, conversational, mm. right? People like to judge, even like some of my friends. Okay, me myself, I will judge like my banana friend, including you and like the others when they're trying to speak Mandarin. It's, it's very funny. I I'm sorry yeah, to say, but it's very it, funny. It has a it has a Western, uh, feel to it, right? Because our tongue too long, we we can't we can't retract back our tongue to pronounce the word properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I I did I did learn Mandarin for a bit, but all forgotten. Really thrown a dustbin already. I too, believe too late really. There's a reason why, like most of the Chinese in Malaysia, they they didn't pronounce the word correctly. So you think like when you have long time because they speak English, but it's actually not. It's just the Chinese in Malaysia is when they speak, they are a bit lazy. So sometimes you, sometimes when some people they speak too formal, like the Chi- the and then they sound like the China Chinese, and you're getting judged at the same time. So what's funny is right. Recently, I went to buy some stationery, right, and. When I go to this counter, uh, the counter, the counter, the the counter fellow lah, the girl, the lady, the cashier, she she's like, uh, everything is like she speak English. I forgot, I I kind of forgot what she said, but also I was so surprised in the Malay area, Shalab. Sorry to be judgmental again. She speak very fluent English. I was like, what English go standard cell? I literally said that, and and she doesn't look happy. I don't know whether at that point I'm actually offending her or actually. I'm just praising you. Did. Her. I did. I think you her. did. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes when people praise you, you you kind of be like, 
What? Because I'm that skin color, so I can't speak the language or what? People have this thought. Okay, I'm yeah. English. I'm I'm a Chinese and I speak very fluent Mandarin. People will be like, "Why you have to speak so fluent? Why you have to speak so formal? You from China, man?" People have this mentality even in Malaysia. I mean, towards our own races. So recently, like before we start our stream, I watched I saw a video. Is you know the lady minister the Doraemon? Yeah, you just sent to I, me. I sent right? to you, right? Yeah, yeah, you sent to me the video. I I honestly like, I couldn't understand a word she said. Uh, by the way, I think we should link the video on to our video uh, on the, onto our stream so that our audience can see. I mean, right now, it's yeah, it's quite hard just la, share. Right? So do, yeah. I mean, later I will share it. I will share mm-hmm. it to the comment section after the live ends. So, mm-hmm. the thing is, okay, let's say you can't understand it. You can't understand it. I don't think it's fine or it's cool to actually say, "Hey, what kind of English are you talking about? Are you saying I can't understand what you're saying?" It's not. I believe sometimes when people they try, they actually try. It. They're trying yeah. to learn or they're trying to speak the language. It's a process where you kind of have to, from unfamiliar until you get familiar with it, and then you try to pick up the accent, pick up the slang. Right, but yeah, then like yeah, I think I think I think because I mean, <laughs> the <coughs> excuse me, the part where I think everyone judges lah. It, I mean, it's difficult not to judge. You know, just now when I look at the video, I I wanted to laugh, but you raise a very important point. I would like to think that uh, it, it, I think we should be uh, encouraging the person to talk more English. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. That's how yeah. you learn. That's how actually you mm. learn. You have to speak yeah. more, talk more. You don't be afraid of criticism. You just have to yeah. keep saying, and then if people laugh at you. You you just ask them, hey, if you think this is not correct or what I say is very formal or informal, what is the right word to say? It? People will actually willing to teach you. I think, yeah. Mm. So, okay, you know, like people, there's people they cannot speak Mandarin like you. People cannot speak uh, Tamil. I mean, m- most of us cannot speak Tamil. I'm sorry for that because it's quite hard to learn. But one thing in Malaysia. What is your thought of people not knowing Bahasa? For me, uh, in for Bahasa lah, I think it's a very compulsory language in Malaysia. Yes, especially, yes. Uh, even more important than English. Uh, for me, I feel that Bahasa Malaysia is the national language. Everyone should know it, right? Mm, yes. Uh, to me, I also I also feel that it's a quite a beautiful language, uh. If you dive down inside and you look deep inside that language of Bahasa, it's actually a very nice, uh, like nice language. Fun fact: last time Bahasa Malaysia or well, last time is called Bahasa Melayu or the lingua franca it's, thing. Yeah, it's lingua franca is being used internationally more than English, yes, more than yes. English during that time. Now has it has been deteriorated to a point where it's only been used in Malaysia. this Malaysia, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, a lot that's that's why a lot of people uh, will think that my uh, my opinion is controversial because they think oh English is the be- uh, it should be the language to learn. Uh, English will be uh, it it will bring up your uh, your career mm-hmm. to the next level. I don't think so, but to me. One of the things that we should learn uh, Bahasa is that it will, to me, it will unify our people in Malaysia. Mm-mm-mm. But the thing is, um, back then when I was in PLKN, if you don't know what PLKN means, this means Malaysian National Service, the three months National Service where we, can I say waste time? Uh? We kind of have f- having fun there, doing a lot of things. It's, it's a summer camp. It's a summer camp. You, you, yeah. if, it, it's not. It's not wasting time. It's having fun there. Okay. So, so when I go there, I have like, I don't know why. I'm not the only Chinese that can speak like very fluent Malay, Bahasa Melayu. But I got, I got this pangkat because they be like, oh, this Chinese guy he can speak our language. Then I somehow got the got lantik as in, 
the the vice uh, vice leader of our company. So there's one time I actually I think it's for the first few weeks. I I actually made made announcement in Basel, and then like two Chinese from Sarawak. Oh, this Sarawak or Sabah? Sarawak, yes. Oh, Sabah. They came to me. Hey, you need. Uh, what did you say? I was like, what do you mean? What did I say? You don't understand, man. He's like, no, I actually can't understand Basel, and I, I can't really speak Basel as well. You know that moment I was like. We we are eighteen years old. You've been living in Malaysia for eighteen years, and you can't understand a word of Bahasa. That moment, I was very shocked. I mean, we've been taught Bahasa since what? Kindergarten, mm. when we are infant, from yeah. saya, awak, kamu, kami, and then until today, someone actually n- they tell me they are not able to understand Bahasa. I mean. W- what is your thought about it? Well, one thing I think we should think uh, further, because we are living in considered quite a developed area. We are living in Selangor, mm-hmm. w- whereas if you compare with many other states, there are areas where they lack even the basic necessities: water, electricity. Not it's not even there. Also, some some places uh. So imagine their schools. What are they being taught there? Certain schools may most likely be speaking uh, their mother tongue language. So they do not have the capacity to learn or practice Bahasa. So if you look at, at this way, you can't blame certain people to have uh, the ina- inability to speak a certain language. Uh. <laughs> so I think, yeah, one thing we have to understand, uh, we have to broaden our perspective, we have to see uh, everyone comes in a different walk of life. So okay. their growth in terms of that has, uh, every everybody is different, uh, they have different growth. Uh. So, uh, yeah. I like mean, that. I can understand that where if let's say you are in a very rural area and then you, you, you are not, <clears throat> you can't really like, get into education and stuff it's okay it's fine I, I can totally understand that but there are people they manage to get through their primary school they manage to get through their high school and they still can't speak the language whenever I say eh, I go mama no. I don't want to why mama oh Malay I cannot speak huh? there's people like that you know and it's it made me it actually made me sad it's settling because it's like you live in Malaysia and you can't speak the language. Why can't you actually learn it? It's not that hard because I believe the one of the main main silu- situation to actually learn or environment to actually learn that language is to be in that environment, right? So, and the thing is, there's a lot of challenge also when you pick up a new language. I I I, don't, I mean. Doesn't matter if it's English or Bahasa or BM, right? Or, or, or Mandarin, right? So, is that like... I mean, do you have like any challenges when you're trying to like pick up? Have you actually learned how to speak Mandarin? Yeah, I actually tried to. I mean, my one of my previous work, job, I was working as a... in the auto parts industry. Okay. Uh, car parts, ah. Uh. Imagine that... Uh, if many of you all know, uh, mechanics, car parts, automotive industry, majority is being dominated by Chinese, right? Mm-hmm. Chinese, uh, Chinese race in that industry. And then I'm here trying to speak English to my customers. You think they'll listen? Uh? So I have to try hard. Lah. So I went to all these uh, uh, when I started working, I uh, first I'm the marketing line, but then after after that I also have to do sales, so I have to go out and talk to all those workshop people. Mm-hmm. Uh, since when? Uh, I mean, can you find any workshop that can speak English? Uh? I very very uncommon, very very uncommon. Yeah. So basically, I have to go shop to shop, each mechanic to mechanic, and then I have to speak Mandarin to them. So the way that I do it is because, you know, just now I mentioned is that 
when I speak Mandarin, it takes me a few minutes for me to process everything. So imagine I need to sell in Mandarin. So you know what I did? I take out my book. I take out my book. I write down everything in romanization. I think it's called Han Yu. Han Yu. Han Yu Pinyin. Han Yu Pinyin. Ah, Han Yu Pinyin. So I write down in that because I got learned before, so I can remember. So I write down everything. I write down one paragraph full, <laughs> and then in the car, before I write in front of the mechanic, you know? memorize it. <laughs> memorize. Keep looking. Memorize. 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 Keep looking. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Cold sweat start coming out. Ah, huh? <laughs> shaking. Ah, uh. open the door. Hey, you forgot to off engine. Hey, you know, lock the door first. Uh. That, 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 I start. Uh. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you, you start talking like that, lah. Uh. Yeah, it is really like. So you start panicking, ah. Uh. Yeah. yeah, but but anyways, it's not that I couldn't do it. I I I did. I managed to talk, and majority of my customers didn't realize that I actually cannot speak Mandarin. Ah, uh, fluently. Ah, uh, I mean. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the power of preparation for me, lah. So I, ma- I managed to speak well, uh, my sales pitch. Uh, mm. but then after you'll be realizing if they ask question, how? Oh, you can't. Oh, uh, that one, lah. Right. So that's the thing, ah. Luckily, most of the time they ask my, the question, right? Mm. Uh, I usually roja. I I I mix everything. I got English inside, got BM inside, got Mandarin inside. Uh, usually my customers understand and. One of the things is that uh, Chinese Chinese owners are uh, Chinese business owners are uh, they they look they respect young young people young to, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah young young workers uh. so I'm considered a young person so mm-hmm. when they look at me oh Nian Singren they understand all this so for me when I go to all these places I do all this preparation that's 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 what I what I've experienced uh. but to me. Over there, funny thing is, I don't get judged there. I don't get judged there. But it, it, where I usually I get judged more to the place where, like, more towards the open area, lah, public, lah, uh, where you go to shopping and stuff like that. Usually, I get I get from there. But I don't know why when I go work, I don't I don't get that just start judge. I believe most of the people actually like when they working right. They they I mean like this work car workshop people they have to deal with maybe Malays or some a, a lot of people so. They are they already get used to it, so it's you are not the first one or neither the last one they will meet. Okay, so that's why I think that there's a reason why they actually respect you and try to communicate with you slowly and make everything com comprehensible for you, right? But the thing is, I believe when you want to learn a language, right, it's very important where you are in that environment or you you kind of have to be in that situation or you try to switch yourself into that mode. If you understand what I say. Like let's say because back then when I learned English, I starting when I learn English I can't really understand anything. It's not an- anything, but when there's like some word that a bit too deep or when there's a grammatical things, too grammatical correct things, I-, I can't really understand it. So what I actually did was I because back then I was in theater. And back then I was in Chinese theater. Then I uh, shift to English theater because that time I I heard people say in English theater you actually have better future. So not too sure about that, but it's fine. It's already a uh, past. So when I again to English theater and I actually went to KDU uh, to pursue my diploma. The moment when I got into school, I I don't really dare to speak too much because when I get into my college, everyone speaks fluent English. It's like when you get into there, you, you sit in you you get into your table, or you get into your chair, and then everyone's keep speaking English, and it, you're like, oh shit, I I don't understand this, I don't understand that, I don't understand this, I don't understand that, and they they will be come to me, come to you, come to me. Was like, hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, the basic one I can say lah, like, definitely. I'm good and things and like that. And then when there's one time, uh, when there's a presentation. I don't know how to pronounce a word. It's called. I I tell you how to spell it. Okay, it's D E B U T. Debut. Yeah, you know how I actually pronounce it. Debut. Yeah, it's it's, and I got laughed. Even my <laughs> lecturer is like, "Uni, what is that word?" I was like, uh, "Who's but?" I was like, "Debut." Uh, then I actually. 
point at the slide uh, You need that's debut, not debut If you don't know how to pronounce the word, please google it But then it's like, I, I, I cannot You and I, we have like our face, right? I don't want to drop my face yeah. and stuff So I, I just proceed with it and the whole day I don't feel good Because the whole class was laughing at me Right and oh, that's quite bad. Eh? I feel. I feel that's quite bad. And after that, it's, I it's actually... just a small. It's just a small, small mistake. The whole, the whole class laugh at you, man. It, 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 quite sad, right? It, it was. Oof. It was. And okay. And after that, I I'm quite sad, and I actually went into a production where the director, he actually wants us to like speak very fluent, not fluent, but to pronounce the word properly, like a lot of Chinese they can't speak like with, the with. It will be like whiff, whiff, whiff. So, I mean, start from there. I try to fix my pronunciation and stuff. In the end, I mean, this is conversational level of English lah. So, I mean, I one day I hope you can actually speak Mandarin. So, when whenever I introduce people to you, we, we will not mix language and stuff. Okay, do it. I, I try lah. Hey, I've been working for so long. For one year. One year trying to speak the language lah. My boss say, very fast one, uh, two months only, two months only where you, you can learn. <laughs> one year, I still using the book I have to write. Uh. One year, you know. Is I, I, it, I, I tried. It's not that I didn't try. I tried, you know. But I think Mandarin is harder I to learn. I still cannot. Mandarin is harder to learn uh. because we have characters and alphabets, right? Mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. I mean, like, English is an alphabet and everything is ABC. I believe 90% of the people, they can actually... Spell A B C D E F G. So when you put it together, it's actually something. But English is a bit unique, where some of the word when you spell it together, it doesn't spell like that, like debut. What we just mentioned just now, right? Yeah, basically English is a bastard language, lah. Right, because mm-hmm. English is a mixture of several types of uh, European languages. Mm-hmm. So it's like French, uh, Latin, Spanish. I think yeah, Spanish also. I think have. So they put all inside, and they don't change the pronunciation, uh, and the spelling is still the same. So, uh, the only thing that you need to know is you need to learn phonetics, right? Phonetics, then you can see. Yeah, you uh, know how to read the. This. Yeah, you know how to read the symbol will will t- tell you how to pronounce it, yeah, yeah, not yeah, the yeah, spelling. Yeah. The spelling, the spelling, you cannot. Sometimes you cannot use the spelling to, to 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 speak to to pronounce the word. Unlike mm-hmm. Bahasa Melayu, Bahasa Melayu very easy, yeah. B A B A C H I D A, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But anyways, yeah. What we what to me lah, my experience is that mm-hmm. I cannot speak Chinese. Mm-hmm. I try mm. after after so long, also I still cannot. But actually, I'm actually born when I was when I born the time mm-hmm. at, until age three. I was speaking Mandarin. But then after that, I got, uh, I got sent off to to be taken care of by one of my aunts, yeah, yeah, yeah. and my aunt speak English to me. But then, so, uh, uh, until the, no, because uh, my father's side is, Peranakan, so Peranakan. Oh, you are yeah, uh, you actually yeah. have Baba Nyonya, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, uh, this Peranakan or Baba Nyonya, they usually they speak Bahasa. Malay or English in house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So I was I was brought up that way lah. So after age three, totally cannot speak Mandarin. Age three and above, ah, uh, oh, I speak English all the way. I tried to I tried to learn, time to time, standard five, standard six, fail. Working time also fail. But it doesn't mean I I mean I can understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I cannot speak it well. Ne, that's the thing. Yeah, actually, you brought in a very interesting topic where, the way how you got raised up, uh, actually make you speak the language. But there's one thing in Malaysia. It's not only the way you raise up that actually made you like you can't speak certain languages, but it's also like the society where you are in, or the culture where you are in, or the environment you are in. So, what is your thought of like the relationship between society or culture or and between I mean with languages? One of the thing I realize is yeah. pop culture, lah, right? If you realize, if you if you look at it lah, mm-hmm. uh, the English speaking and or uh, English speaking Chinese community and the Chinese speaking Chinese community, mm-hmm. to me lah, I'm just using these two as an example because I'm mm-hmm. more familiar with it. 
they have different pop culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have different mindset where ev- yeah. everything like okay. Because myself, I believe. Uh, previously, I was quite Chinese. Chinese. They call it Chinese. Chinese. They don't call it Chinese. Thinking Chinese. I was quite Chinese. Chinese, and you are actually like banana Chinese. So whenever there's something controversial or something came into our mind, or there's something pop out on the news, what is your thought of like let's say Dong Zhong? Dong Zhong is a Chinese uh, community where they're actually trying to maintain the the status yeah. quo of the status quo of uh, Mandarin in Malaysia. Sometime, I think I personally I wouldn't say I'm too Chinese Chinese because I, sometimes I think they actually they went too far. You can maintain the language, but there's no point of you trying to take the language and put it towards other people. Mm-hmm. They say, oh, because. The Malaysia forcing everyone to speak Bahasa. Why? Why don't let let everyone speak Chinese? As in China is becoming one of the strongest language. I mean, they have this very similar thought where they they are pro China. Mm-hmm. And because of this situation, in Malaysia we are separated and of the segmentation. Ah, we are separated towards areas, housing areas. Let's mm. say today when you go and buy, go to buy a house, or uh, Chinese Chinese area only. Or Bumi Putra area only. The one I cannot say too much about Bumi Putra status, but they have like Malay area, Indian area. Do you think this is one of the problem where because we we actually segment ourselves that way and then we can't really speak that language? Uh, I think yeah, that's one of the factors. Uh, if you if you if you look at it, uh, because if you mix with your own people, mm-hmm. you don't mix with another people. You don't get their perspective. Mm-mm-mm. You don't. You don't see their problems. You only see your problem. Mm-hmm. So, if you look at your own problem only, and then they also have their own problem, right? Mm. They have their own issues. They have. They also have to solve themselves. Yes. So you cannot just say, "Oh, my problem is the most important thing. Must solve it." Then the other other people's problem don't care. That that's the that's the way you you get separated. You won't know the other people. Yeah, I don't care, that fella. I don't care already. Someone he different skin. Uh, it's not. I'm. I'm not saying it. Ah, uh. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind different colors. But yeah, okay. a lot of people think that way. He different skin color. I don't care. He's he, that's his problem. So okay. that that's there's a separation right there. So if you think like that, it will. Uh, each when when you separate people, each person will have their own. Uh, different set of perspective. So sometimes, ah, uh, when when you try to mix them together, already after they are separated so long, mm-hmm. they will have a clash of ideas. So okay. yeah, that that will be one of the factors, ah. Uh, you can say that. Uh, like speaking about like you actually because we are so separated, and suddenly you want to like chantum them together again. It's a uh, quite of the issue here, right? I actually have a quite similar idea where, uh, my workplace. I hope people don't actually go and dig out my pa- my where I work and stuff. Uh, we have Malays in our our in our office, and so in our office we is we have an agency lah. So like sometimes we have like joint agency meeting, and people will be like, oh because he is here, so today everything will be conducted in English. But don't mind my broken English ha. I try my best lah, or I mix mix. A lot of people will have this issue, you know, and then. I mean, it's okay. It's not our problem where we want to make our agency more diversified, because I think it's all fine if you have like Indian people coming into my office or, or English people, uh, English speak English speaker coming to my office is totally fine for me. But some people when they, when they actually see this and they be like, oh, we have, our, friend here, blah blah blah. Let's say X X X Muhammad. Let's say let's, let's call him Muhammad. So today, uh, we will try our best to conduct in English or Bahasa. In the end of the day, the whole thing will still turn back to Mandarin. It's I believe. I mean, they are used to talking that way, lah. So they, they are used they to talking that way into Mandarin. So it's like it really need time for you to actually turn turn your mindset like that way in order to understand each other, right? And it's not only that. There's also like one thing. It's a uh, perspective things like what you just said. Whenever I see this guy, ah yo, why is here? I have to speak that way already. Or, yeah, but Malay ah, confirm can understand one ah. 
Indian ah, Kowloon Indian understand one. Therefore, they do they don't even bother to actually try to communicate with them. Right. So recently, I uh, I saw a Facebook post. It's a meme lah. Uh, it's quite funny. You know, like I myself, I it's not I pref it's not like I prefer to speak English over Mandarin. But sometimes I believe every languages has its own um unique uniqueness where. I have to use that language in order to tell the story, right? It has a, it, how's that? The expression is is it's basically uh yeah it is is reserved for that language because like maybe that language knows that ex uh, emotion very well yeah, more yeah. than others something so, like that yeah. So when I saw this Facebook meme, right? It's it's literally like, okay, it's a it's too, it's a like collage. So the the first photo is like when I see Chinese speaker who can speak Chinese. Ah, uh, they speak English, and then the next picture is like chicken white. If you guys what understand what chicken white chicken white means lah, so they actually call us chicken white, like me. Ah, uh, I find it funny, but I will not deny it actually it. Uh, it's kind of hurt me. It hurts me a little because it's not oh, like wait. hold on, hold on. May I ask what is that? Okay, so basically you're saying that uh, Chinese, you are Chinese, Chinese speaker, that can speak I, Chinese, but, but you I, you speak English. Yes, then but you want to speak white. English and they call you chicken white. Why they yeah. call you like that? It's because they think when you try to speak English, right? Uh, you're trying to be atas. You want to be out atas them. You, you should not, understand what it, out atas them. When you say chicken white, it's not that that word, right? It is. It's not that word, right? It is ah. Uh. It is okay. Yeah, chicken white. Okay, yeah. if you guys don't know, better not know. Maybe you guys not not old enough. So they actually yeah. know already lah. <laughs> I think most of them know. I mean, if, I if they are of age lah. and they don't know what what does that mean, I don't know lah. <laughs> that one size too. It's, it, it's better to not know. <laughs> I mean, it's quite sad where. It's not. I'm trying to tell people that I'm trying to progress. I'm. I, I'm not having the idea where. Okay, the reason why I speak English because I want to progress, or I want to be very international. But it's saddening where you yourself, you are not willing to learn the language, and you say it's too hard. It's it's like that. It's like that. It's okay. You say it's too hard. You don't want to learn. Everything's fine. But why you have to judge people that trying to, you know, speak the language? Like I have friends. Like every time when I see people who speak English, uh, who I mean Benena who speak Mandarin, I will try my best to. T sometimes I will laugh at them, lah. Definitely, I will tell them. Sometimes, sometimes, ah. Most of the time, but then I will actually <laughs> after I laugh at them, I will actually try to correct them. People actually need someone to correct them instead of laughing at them, because I believe in Malaysia we have to try to help each other out in order to become a stronger, in order to become stronger or to have to form a stronger nation. So I have like Indian friends. Uh, it's a she lah. I believe you also know know her. She few months back she texted me. She's like, I'm very sad because of my workplace. Everyone speak Mandarin. No one trying to talk to her. She actually l went to learn Mandarin and I'm so surprised. Within few months, sh she can already say, she can already order food. She can already ask you how are you, how m ask me how are you, is have you eaten and things like that. I mean, I cannot blame that some people they just blame others because oh I cannot speak the language, or oh these people trying to outsmart me because he can speak he or she can speak the language, but mm. there's some people like the Indian friend of mine, she's trying so hard to not getting left out because I don't know whether it's like I believe it's Chinese if if it's the how it's how Chinese. Perceive things where you are an Indian, you are very incapable. It's a stereotype everywhere. Mm. The stereotype is always there. You know, like apu nene stuff. When you don't work well, you will become apu nene. When you don't study well, you become apu nene. I think it's totally wrong. It's very saddening because people don't speak a language, and you think people is bad. And whenever you see people like those, uh, there's some artists, Indian artists, they can speak very fluent Hokkien or mm -hmm. Chinese. They have different. They have different perspective of view. They'll be like, "Oh, this guy, he can speak Mandarin. He can speak Hokkien. He's better. He's our people." <laughs> no, do you do you get what I mean or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually exists, you know. 
So, it's very saddening lah. Like some people they tried, and then you keep laughing at them. In the end, they are not. They are not trying anymore. They are not progressing. You are not progressing. Everyone is not progressing. Mm. What is mm. the problem? But are you happy okay, with that? You 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 say like that also. Well, one of the things that you have to think it another way lah. If people, I mean, it's very difficult to change culture. Mm-hmm. So this the types of insult and stuff. If you want to learn the language, it cannot. This cannot deter you, lah. So this is one of the perspective, lah. Because learning an ex- additional language will give you an advantage, right? Mm-hmm. Advantage in talking to other people, mm. finding job. Mm. But if you want to learn the language, go ahead. If someone insult you for doing that, and you you quit already, that means you have very low self esteem, uh, self esteem, yeah. right? That should not be a reason for you to quit, lah. You should try, ah. Is everything you should try. One of the things now I realize in uh, du- during this COVID pandemic, right? Mm-hmm. You should try, lah. Right? If you don't try, when, ah, uh, when, when will you try? I have another question. Tomorrow, right tomorrow, tomorrow, you might wake up. And you are still the tomorrow same. Tomorrow you might no. Tomorrow you might not wake up also. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That that is what I realized in COVID pandemic. So that's 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 why, it, it uh, other people cannot deter you from doing things. They may insult you, but they, you should push forward. Mm. Do whatever you want, right? So you know, I have another question where, um, the problem with language in Malaysia. First thing first is people, they unwilling to learn. Second thing is when they trying to learn, people trying to ju- people will just judge them. And the next thing is. Do you believe that actually, um, government plays a bit of role in? Should I say divide lah? In I mean, government division of people. Division uh. of people, because I believe it's that division that made people unwilling to understand each other. Let's that, say if that, is a, I, that to, is a let's possibility. Let's say today I'm I, I hate you. Let's say today I hate you. Uh, example right. Let's say today I hate you. Okay, he, he's a banana. Don't care lah. I don't want to speak English only ma. Not like because he's. Let's say you are my boss lah. He's my boss. Okay lor. I have to learn the English. I have to learn English just for just to communicate with him uh. But when in the other hand, let's say this fellow is your employee. They can't speak English, and then you can speak English. Hey, learn English lah. You see how the table turns, and mm. in Malaysia. Each races think they are far more superior than each other. This one, no one is. Uh, I think everyone borns equally, lah. I think everyone borns equally, lah. But but some people <laughs> are born more equal than others, ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. <laughs> I get what you mean. Uh, I think a lot of people here they also kind of understand what what we trying to say. Some people are born more equally than others. Oh yeah, I think we are pushing. Out of the topic, you were saying about the government plays a part. Yeah, I do think that government do play a part. Ah, uh, I cannot say lah. So uh, basically, allegedly lah, allegedly people, ah, uh, the government divide people, ah, uh, due to stuff, politics and stuff like that. Ah, uh, I I do I don't know. I don't go and ask. I don't go ask the politician. Hey, you got you you divide people, is it? Are you dividing our our people around so mm. so you can achieve your goals? Mm. I don't ask them that, so I cannot say. Yeah, mm. I I do not understand. I do not understand. I actually, uh, Malaysian politics for me is very confusing now. So I don't really want to know. <laughs> no, actually, I let's not care, let's yeah. not talk about politics. Let's talk about history. Mm. Ever since mm. we, sorry lah, we are actually pendatang, <laughs> but I'm a poor, I'm a proud Malaysian. Okay, when we when our ancestors were brought into Malaysia, they always separate us. In a lot of ways, Indian they work in estate, Chinese they work in uh BGT ma and stuff, and the Malay will be handling all the business. Mm. It's already that way, and then in the end of the day, because Chinese people like the China Chinese, our ancestor, they are very good in make doing business. So in the end of the day, we are slowly transforming into business, a uh, businessman and business person, and a lot of things they slowly transitioned and. Nowadays, Indian they are somehow all the doctors and lawyers, lah. 
True, true. It's always like <laughs> a that. lot a lot of doctors and lawyers. Or programmers. Uh, yes. That's how it is. And I mean a lot of things were back then it was divided like that and today it's still divided like that. Where oh Chinese ah, they will never work this very low 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 end job ah, this la that la and everyone is judging each other. Sometimes I think government or us as a human we, we should try to actually I mean I see improvements la try to actually unite ourselves and trying to understand each other. By understanding each other I believe we can actually try to understand the language. Because back then I was in Kappa. Oh, I stay in Kappa. My my parents say when I was small, like around five, six, I can speak Tamil. Now I can't speak a word of Tamil. I can speak like the very normal one like Vanikam and stuff like that. I believe when everything was brought together everything uh, is brought together, uh I mean we will have no problem with living in peace and speaking each other's languages. Malaysia will be the maybe the best country in speaking at least four languages. Bahasa, English, uh Tamil and Mandarin. Mm. Do you agree with that? I actually don't really endorse Mandarin to be our one of our languages. Uh. <laughs> Honestly speaking. Speak uh. it, right? No no no, it's not because I can't speak it. Mm. It's because I feel that Mandarin is not Malaysian. Mm-mm. Malaysian language, uh, Malaysian languages. Well, this one is not really language. Uh. it should be the Hokkien and the Cantonese dialect. That th- th- those are the dialects. Uh, can say not mm. Mandarin, mm. because most of uh, the ancestors that come here, all I don't think they speak Mandarin. They speak their own dialect. Hakka la, Hainan la, mm-hmm. Cantonese la, Hokkien la. But that will complicate matters, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, but if if you think it that way, of course deep down I feel it this way, but to simplify matters, yeah, I Mandarin think you are, is the way. I think you are right. Where back then, like our ancestors, they speak all this very different dialect, and in the end, they find a solution where everyone just speak Mandarin, mm. while we some of them still learn dialect. So, mm. this is what we should do, right? Uh, mm. Trying to unite each other. So, what do you think uh, our government should do? I my think one of the things yeah, yeah my yeah, idea I is actually on first. my idea is actually like let's say Malaysia is able to make our school since primary school everyone just learn everything I mean after the class or whatever you just go to your class to learn like your mother tongue or if you if you willingly you can just go to the other class let's say uh, today after I take my English lesson I want to learn Mandarin lesson mm. I mean mm. after, uh, of course like it's after class like you know, mm. like back then we have like until one p.m. and then one p.m. until like three thirty is some other classes. I think it will definitely do the job where everyone just be able to speak all the languages. Yeah, so so basically, I I come from a national school, mm-hmm. Sekolah Kebangsaan, mm. uh, and in Malaysia we have three types. Uh. I think they I think removed, they have uh, more. They I think them. they have more. I I'm not too sure, but anyways, during my time lah, when I was still studying, they have this SK. Bracket C and no, SK they, bracket they it, I think. T. Yeah, I I know, but I'm saying that my time yeah, 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 they have yeah. that, right? So we have three types of of schools there. Mm. Uh, one that is national. Uh, mm. Actually, all of these are also national, mm-hmm. but uh, the the bracket C one is Chinese, uh, and the bracket mm. T one is Tamil. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these two, to me, it further separates our people. Culturally, it's not saying that uh, all Indians go inside Tamil school or all Chinese go inside Chinese school. And there will be a mix. There are some there. mixture, yeah, yeah. but very small per- percentage. But in that school, at the division level, there's three types already. Mm. So there's three perspective is being built up from mm. small, from 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 young age. So there's three different type of culture already. Let's not talk the, about the growth is different. Let's not forget about Sagola Agama, you know. Ah, yes, I also forgot. Yeah, so, uh, so, so there's another one, Sagola yeah. Agama, which which focuses uh on Islamic studies. So, when we have so many types of perspective, there will be a clash of ideas there already. Mm-hmm. So, to me, it's a very bad idea, lah. 
to me, I feel that everyone should be uni- united inside one type of national school. And then uh, you get the chance to learn uh, your mother tongue, Mm-mm-mm. Mandarin or Tamil or whatever else other type of languages are provided mm. in that school. Mm. So it should be there. And to me, whether it's it compulsory or not, I think that's up to uh, the... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not an education expert, so... Yeah, maybe they can they can do further research on that. And one of my main important point is that all the national school must force all the students and teachers, everyone in the school, to speak Malay as a conversational language. Mm-hmm. When you go to class, you learn English. Ah, you speak English there. Maybe science and maths is taught in English. Ah, you 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 learn in English there. But when you go outside, go to canteen, uh, move around, move around class. You talk to your uh, classmates. Must speak in Malay, so that then from that way we can preserve the Malay language and also learn our mother tongue and also learn English. Is it difficult to implement? Possibly. I think, I think yes, because people yeah. will be people will be complaining. Hey, why do I have to? Why my child has to learn Bahasa? In a way, because it was already in the system for so long, where people they already they can't really take it off. Today, you want me to suddenly everything be in Basa? No, I'm not going to accept it. It's not. Oh, it's not the kid that cannot accept it. You know, it's always the parents. I mean, in the end of the day, maybe when like our generation or we call it millennial or Gen Y, we grow older. Mm-hmm. There's a possibility where. Because I believe we are more open-minded compared to the older generation, they will be willing to accept all this, to actually speak in Bahasa, and I actually do agree that uh, ba- uh science language, science science subjects and uh, math subjects to be taught in English, because it's way easier that way. Uh, and it's more international use because uh, let's say today you want to go overseas to study physics and stuff, uh, to become a physician or something like that, it's better than way lah. Actually, yeah. Uh, I think I can refute your point there because Malay, one thing uh, Malay, you, you study science in Malay uh, is actually very good, you know. You know why? Right. right. All the, a lot of the scientific names, their name will be, uh, will still retain oh, in yeah, the I get, original language. I get what Latin, you mean. Uh, some, most, most of it is in Latin. It's like so in Malay, they will still use the Latin one. It's like our chemistry where mm. Na in English is sodium, but in BM yeah. is natrium. Natrium, which is the real, the original uh, language. So to me, I feel if you want to learn in science in Malay, it's also fine. But it's but a bit hard because you are not going it, to say using mass as gsim. Yeah, that's that's the thing lah. There's there's maybe there's a few tweaks to do it, but to learn. Science in Malay is also not not big of a deal, uh. Not really big of a deal, uh. But to me, I still feel, uh, yeah. In- when English you learn science, the, yeah. yeah, English is still better, uh. mm-hmm. But it doesn't mean that Malay is not good for science, also. It's still mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. So I mean, uh, we have been talking a lot, and I actually before we actually end our show, uh, I would like to apologize to the Sabah and Sarawakian because, um. Well, we 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 can't we don't really understand the culture over there because uh, we are Buddha Semenanjung. Sorry to say that, and uh, um, I believe in Malaysia, everyone has its own uniqueness, and because Malaysia is a very unique uh, country, indeed. One of the thing is very diverse. Uh, we very are very diverse. diverse. The thing is, in Malaysia, if food can unite everyone, and sports can unite everyone, why can't we unite ourselves? Without having to rely on this, you know, mm. you get what I mean, right? Mm. So okay, so I believe in Malaysia. If you re- try to respect each other, not try. If you respect each other, if you respect the others, people will definitely respect you. If you try to understand their culture, people will try to understand your culture. There's no point of arguing over who is better. There's no one is no one is born better. Everyone is born equally. Because I believe there's a very deep down racism in Malaysian where it kind of divide us in a way which this will be our episode 3 topic racism in Malaysia stay tuned eh? 
And okay, so uh, before we end our show, I'll be scrolling through comments because I think I missed a lot of comments. And there's some people yeah. actually tell me to yeah, actually, I actually I saw, saw it. I saw it like they say, uh, to to read the comments, but it's very hard lah. We cannot really. Uh, multitask too, we are, we are, how do you say uh, We are too and uh engrossed in our conversation uh. So yes. so sorry lah uh, if we, we we miss your comments uh. Stop judging my but, Mandarin by Justin. I'm sorry, but there's a lot of time when I say that when I when I just summon Mandarin, I actually try to improve it. I was like, hey, you you don't speak it that way. You don't speak it that way. Instead of I say, hey, you don't learn Mandarin uh. I, I think it's better in a way where. You and you listen to others. Maybe sometimes my my the way I speak it is a bit harsh, lah. But maybe it can help you to be better in speaking Mandarin. Just doing our best. Oh yeah, you have a lot of banana friends over here. This like Brandon say he, he's trying his best to learn the language. Uh, yeah, like my my brother-in-law also say, uh, to actually speak all this language is a must. I mean. It's it's okay. It's it's a must to learn Bahasa lah in a way. Is there any other question? Can I podcast ni tak melayu? Uh, you I nak mean, cakap bahasa Melayu saya boleh cakap. In the future, uh, we uh, we will launch the Mandarin one where I will find another co-host. Uh, and in the future, I hope lah in the future things can work out. I mean, just like our Facebook, subscribe to our Insta- uh, subscribe to our YouTube and like our follow our Instagram in order to make us grow. So when we grow, and then we can actually create the BM podcast or uh, Mandarin podcast. Mandarin, uh, I, Mandarin S- I still need to come in, uh, huh? I thought SBM Bahasa is a compulsory subject to pass. Uh, it's a compulsory subject to pass if you are applying for higher academic study. But wait, what? What again? Uh, yeah, ma, SPM. Jack- Jackson Jackson Lim say I thought SPM Bahasa is a compulsory subject to pass. Yeah, I think it but is a the passing ma- passing how how easy is it to pass? It's actually forty points, but I mean it's compulsory to pass if you are pursuing uh, your next level of study or you because the government want you to pass the language in order for you to get the cert. If not, uh, that's not true. Allowing. That's true. One one thing. Actually, SPM don't really matter, right? You want to go to tertiary studies, you don't really actually need SPM. You need three certain, credits. Certain, certain schools, tertiary schools uh, will allow you to enter without having the SPM. I think yeah, so. Certain, I, know, I mean, if you are not under MQA, if you're under SKM mm. or something else, mm. they will definitely mm. allow you or certificate level study. Like, but if one diploma mm. or foundation, you definitely need the three credit on your SPM. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, admit your brand, brand. I see a lot of spam by Brandon Ng and Elvin C. He asked Brandon, "Have you tried playing the guitar too?" <laughs> no, actually, both of us showing our guitar over here, and then we are not playing it. Next time, ah, uh, next time, ah, uh, ah, uh, one hundred likes, one hundred subscriber special. We will be playing songs. One hundred, one. No, 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 no. One thousand. No. Do you you play you play yourself? I don't want to play. <laughs> I don't want to maluk myself. English susa. Hmm, I wouldn't say too susa lah. I mean, previously, hey, okay, previously okay. I can't speak English. You should talk. You should talk your story. How 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 you how you learn English, right? Oh, when you feel that. The way of me speak English is, the time initially when I try to learn English, I I can't really speak their language, because, I still think like Chinese. Whenever what I want to tell in English, I have to translate. <laughs> Through my mind. Oh, so, so means so means like when you want to speak the time, I have more a process. You say your head first. Yeah. So you think ahead in Mandarin, and then change it to English one by one. Is it? Yeah, that's why I have grammatical grammatical error. Mm-mm. And then in the end, so of that, my my thought process is different when I do. I I actually uh will think everything in Mandarin, but yeah, it will take me slow slow to 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 write it down So I I need to think in Mandarin. I write it down because mm-hmm. I will forget. So I can think in Mandarin. So then I need to write it down. I think it's a better way yeah, to actually mine. to actually think like that. Let's say today I I'm an English speaker. I I want to learn English. I have to th- think like an Englishman, not American. Ah. please don't learn American English. Englishman. Ah. not the, so, bra- so not you think British, you're not British. You're British, eh? Not you're British, British, eh? But trying to think like your banana friends or whoever it is in order to learn that language. Because if you don't think like that, 
you're not able to get into the culture. Even meme, meme is one of the best way to actually learn the language. I'm not, sure? I'm not making fun, but because there's some things, there's something they're actually trying to tell in English. But if let's say you don't understand the language, you don't think like that, you won't understand it. So in order so, for so you to understand the language, you have to think like them. Yeah, basically you're saying one of the things that memes are they're very interesting. Uh, it's funny, uh, some some of them. Yes, yes. So yes. maybe you can say that interest in a language. But does it help? Uh? For me for me to me, the I uh, it's not like I hate to hate to learn Mandarin. I watch Mandarin shows. I especially Hong Kong Hong Kong shows I, I watch a lot. Movies and uh, Cantonese drama. But I cannot speak a single word. Cantonese uh, is my worst dialect. Worst dialect. I think it's because the way of them saying, speaking lah. And then we don't think like that lah. It's very hard. Like me, I, I can, sometimes I cannot understand what Hong Kong people doing with all the controversy and stuff. That's why I don't think I can understand the culture. That's why I can't. I think there's a reason why I can't speak the language. Yeah. In order, you have to understand the culture in order to to speak the language, no matter what. That, that's why we think their name very funny, is it? Boss Ko Wong. Boss. Who the hell names Bosco? Sky Young says maybe if Malaysian became colorblind, then real one Malaysia can happen. Unfortunately, colorblind. I think it's true lah. But but the problem is la. people see in color ma. I can see you co- yellow color. I can see people white color. I can see people brown color. Let's say right? brown color, yellow color, and chalk. And chocolate color, it's okay. Brown, light brown, brown and, and chocolate. And chocolate is same lah. Yellow, oh. light, yellow, light brown, and brown is totally gray color. There's no other tone or texture on it. I believe there's, you. There's a time where people will get unite lah. Just you don't see, see the skin lah. La. Yeah. You you cut you cut the skin, then you can see what color. All blood same ma. It's all red. No, blood. Pink. Blood is always red ma. And whatever whatever skin color you have is your blood is red ma. What, what so is to me, why why you have to be separating each other, right? Yeah, I mean everyone has shared the same brain, same body a- anatomy. There's no point, lah. Uh, your friend asked you why is chicken white. You don't know, ah. Uh, I cannot teach you how, uh. Maybe <laughs> later, later tonight, ah. Uh, tonight you call me. Call me, ah. Uh. <laughs> Speak in the right env- environment. Yeah, if you have, but sometimes you you kind of have to adjust your English, because like me, when I speak in a in a very Chinese community, and I have to speak English, I actually tone down my English level. Do you? That's true. I also, I also, I also, I'm 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 guilty of doing this, right? Sometimes I, I will have I will speak in more like, I I'll have more la, uh, I have more. Yeah, law like this type of thing, and, and to me, I I even feel that myself, I'm 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 a bit I'm a bit rude lah, that I do that, right? I I mean it's unavoidable because you want to get people to understand us as well, so they be like, oh, he speak English this way, oh English is not that hard. I mean if. Today when I want to, sp- some people they maybe they don't understand the word controversial because today our episode is quite controversy. Controversial sure. And let's say If I use controversial Some people might not Be able to understand So instead I use um, Today my topic is a bit Sini sana la. If you understand You understand la. So people will be like Oh mohon, sini sana Mohon terasa sikit Mohon terasa sikit Yeah So it's sini sana Maybe you kena Maybe you tak kena I will say something like that If I want to change I have toned down my uh, English Or when I toned down my Mandarin To some people I don't I don't use Perfect ing- uh, perfect Mandarin To speak to banana It's it's insulting, I believe. Yeah, unite no, through respect, definitely. I think that that also brings one point. Mm-hmm. Uh, having a language that resonates with another person, that is a very, that is a beautiful thing. Of you know, yeah. you you have a language to resonate with another person. That's why that's why we try to, uh, how's it like tone down our level of English. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you may get the wrong idea, or you uh, express the wrong idea. 
So uh, you might be actually insulting the your your the person that hears you instead. <laughs> That's I the think thing. I remember so one you have to be thing, very careful. Yeah, I remember one thing when back then I talked to one of my, uh, I talked to my, someone lah. I cannot say who lah. I say you are no match to me. If everyone understand what is your your no match to me, it means you can't win me or you can't be better than me in this way, right? And that fella, he, that fella thought that. I said, we are not meant to. <laughs> Never mind. I have to tell the story. Uh, it was all my Bongam ex. Ah. It was all my Bongam ex. Ah. Yeah. When I said it, they'd be like, oh, "You think I'm not matched to you?" I was like, oh, "Here we go again." I have to. Re- I have to explain the thing. It's. Mm-hmm. It's not bongam. It's not like you are not. We are not matching. But then it's like. In that situation, a lot of people when they see some of the words they recognize, but they do not really understand the meaning, they were misunderstood, right? So Wendy said they should have alternate days for different languages instead. In that way, we can practice multiple languages together rather than just PM all day every day. Actually, this is a very a good, good idea. idea. This is a yeah. very good idea. Where you know, like they have this uh in Thursday, like all the teachers bring batik. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. You you wear clothes. What's the point? Huh? Yeah, Speak the language I, lah. I actually like this idea. Yeah, thank you, Wendy. Uh, for I think it's a very, very, very good, very yeah, good idea. So Malaysia is a country enriched with multicultural and language. This makes Malaysia competitive in the international stage. Yes, this is my by Tommy Lau, and yes, I I actually agree with this point because Malaysia we have like so we are able to communicate with other country like Malay. Like if you speak Malay, you can somehow understand Indonesia, Indonesian, yeah. and you speak Mandarin, you definitely understand Chinese. The China Chinese. I think by this way we can actually push ourselves internationally and we can be stronger. If my SPM gets C, does that matter? My Chinese get SPM C, does that matter? I don't think it matters. But uh, one thing, one thing, you don't. It doesn't matter. You get whatever, whatever A B C D. It doesn't matter. One thing I notice is that certain people that I uh that is Chinese speaking, right? They have better grammar than me. Because why they learn the language? For me, I, I am naturalized. Uh, I'm a naturalized speaker. I speak English daily, so that I don't. I don't care about grammar. I don't care about verbs. I don't care about nouns. I don't know what are those. You you, you ask me what is, what is a verb now. I'm not too sure. I think it's an action word. I'm not too sure. You do understand one thing. Yeah. Uh, in. You don't have to be very good at the language, but you just have mm. to make sure it's. Conversational, yeah. Conversational is un understood by another person. Yes. So, so I think that's the how to say the benchmark lah, a very low line, just to put there. So there's one thing understandable, yeah. understandable language. That's it. You know Chinese, right? They can sp- write very well English, but they can't speak it, because this is how mm. we got taught in a, uh, uh, in our primary school. Yes, so it's like, uh, I can speak very, I can write very well grammar, but when it comes to conversational, I'll be like, eh, eh, oh, eh, oh, and then what you said is too actually too formal, to be used in verbal. Right, so I think that's it for all these comments and questions. So thank you for your response and questions. Uh, before you go, make sure to like our Facebook page. At the 10 PM show, follow us on our Instagram at the 10 PM show 21, and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we will be uploading our full podcast there in case you missed our live session. Link is in the pinned comment in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next Friday. <laughs>